Why, hello there. We are venturing out of the state of Vermont and into the crazy upside down state next door to a town called Alexandria. Um, we are gonna camp out there at uh, a hip camp. It's about 20 minutes from Newfound Lake, which is one of the country's top 10 cleanest and clearest lakes. You can see the White Mountains poking out. Getting the first glimpse of Newfound Lake. Not a place that's ever been on my radar. Um, I booked this site because it's 30 minutes from where I'm going mountain biking tomorrow morning, which I'm hoping I can film. Um, we'll try, we'll try. I, uh, this is all new to me, trying to mount cameras to stuff and things like that. The, the fact of the matter is anytime you start something new, you're gonna kind of suck at it. So um, I'm gonna take you out and show you how to suck at fishing and snorkeling. That's the plan this weekend. And then uh, if I cannot suck at shooting video, I'll show you how to suck at downhill mountain biking too. Pretty exclusive. Very exclusive. Close that gate back up though. Drive to end of road and park at start of private property signs. Walking path goes uphill across the parking spot. Turn left into the meadow. So I don't know if I explained, but this is a hip camp, which is like Airbnb for campsites. So it's a meadow overlooking, um, it's underneath Mount Cardigan. Should be a really, really remote site. I park here, I guess. Might check my GPS and just make sure there's a meadow <laughs> this way. That's where my side is apparently. I think I can get a wagon up this. This looks pretty magical. Here's our meadow. This is great. <laughs> it's like this guy knows me. Oh yeah. I think this will work just fine. Nice cushy moss. I think it's time to put on some real shoes and get my stuff up here. Get some of these out of the way because my wheels are tiny on the wagon. They'll get caught in my tires. Got a smaller toe, it's got food in it. So probably better to leave it down here anyways. This is just my tent clothes. I was looking for my swim trunks. So this is the steep part of the hill. We get up this and practically down, we're just walking it in. This is like the sites that I pick in the winter months. Maybe we'll have to come back and sled down this. Get me ready for my Spartan race. It's like hiking out of the spring into the summer. Less than five minute walk up the hill, even pulling the wagon. I'm gonna rest, I'll throw this freaking tent up, and then I'm going back to that lake, I'm going in the water, and I'm catching up with a buddy. It's just a, uh, I don't even know, Alps, Alps engineering, something like that. Just uh, hooks on the outside, cross hook at the top, that's got, um, what do you call those? It's got uh, a vestibule. So there's some space on both sides of the tent that's in out of the rain. Alps Mountaineering is the brand of the tent. That was a tick, that's not cool. Tick check, hold on. Um, fun fact, Lyme disease is a thing. Um, it comes from the red ticks, not the white ticks. And uh, the trick with ticks is that um, the majority of Lyme disease cases, by my understanding, not a doctor, um, happen uh, 
when you leave a tick on for a long period of time. So always tick check, tick check again, um, and check a third time for little teeny teeny weeny tiny ones because those ones can carry alarm too. Brought a secret weapon this time. Not messing around. There is a uh, ground sheet under here. Oops. Well, sort of. It's pulled a little too far to one side. Right now. But the idea of the ground sheet is keeps your tank clean. It also, like in this case, this is kind of spiky. So this stuff will actually damage potentially this thin liner on the bottom of your tent. Still getting the hang of this mic. It's not pointing towards me. You can't hear me, which is good because it means you can't hear what's going on over there, which should be a better experience for you as long as I don't mess it up. This does have a nice uh, open two side door situation. Now I'm a little uh, tick conscious. Tent set up, pretty much complete. It's got the Nemo, inflating pad, sleeping bag liner, and a fleece blanket. Not a lot of sleep shenanigans this go around. It's supposed to be warm. May spend a reasonable amount of time sitting in here because I'm not. In fact, I'm, I'm pretty sure I forgot a chair. Um, which we learned I don't need a chair because mine got sopping wet last time. There's the bed, not much to it. Just camping out, man. I'm not gonna spend much time here. I'm going to the lake, coming back sleeping, going to the mountain to mountain bike. So yeah, I'm just gonna throw the tote right in here, leave it placed to myself. Very wild, literally wild. If you ever want to see how many ticks you can catch, you just walk on the uh, ferns on the edge of a field like this. Like this is probably where I got the one that was on me. I don't like any bug that like sucks your blood, I guess. Like mosquitoes, the fact that they're like using your blood to Create more mosquitoes is kind of spooky to me. Equally, not cool. Just a boy in his wagon. Let's get back to the lake. This little dude, stupid idiot, was on my leg. It's gonna suck. I'm gonna have a tick on me every time I go up that trail, I think. Yeah, look, little creeper. Freaking in my shoe. On my keys, I keep a tick key and you can get underneath the tick and uh, pull it out from the base. You can rip their like front ends out and it just like leaves it in you, which is not what you're going for. You're trying to get it out of you. I've heard people say that the ticks are bad, but I haven't experienced this many this rapidly like that. This is, uh, makes your skin kind of crawl. Oh my goodness, this there is a beach and it is really busy. There's probably 200 people on the beach over here. It's smoky. No idea who that is, but it seems cool. Place is quite busy. There is a launch lane right in the middle of it though. Check out this little side trail here though. If I can get far enough away so that you can't identify people. Let me show you. Maybe from this little cliff top. How many people are actually on this beach? So I've got a new microphone on my camera. So you should be able to hear me better. However, I've got a few more weird looks walking down the beach with the camera in hand. I guess they're not looking at me, they're looking at you. Nice. I'm gonna fish wherever I want. 
because I've got a boat. Oh, yeah. That feels good. Ooh, yeah. That's uh, what scares me most about the 4th of July yep. in Burlington. Is that there's like 500 boats out there and they're all, they're all sober. They're all sober. Absolutely. So it's got uh, teeth grip. Sleep with that, I'll help you with your sleep app. I can talk if I uh, pick words that don't have T's and P's in them. Perfect. Ooh. So that was pretty awesome. Matt and I paddled uh, from that beach there around this bend. We made it over to a sandbar on the other side of the island here, but he uh, dropped a pair of sunglasses in the uh, probably a 20 foot depth water on the other side over here. So I think I'm gonna take the snorkel under and uh, try to find him for him. Odds are pretty low, but I mean, I'm here. I might as well try. And if not his glasses, maybe I'll find him a, <laughs> a pair of somebody else's. I'm trying to find, uh, there was like two trees in this big flat rock here. But in any case, I think this would be a interesting place to dive in and hopefully I find him though. A lot of good sized boats fly right through this area that's actually it's so bumpy. It's a lot of the reason the glasses are in the water. Are you ready matey? I don't think I can see down deep enough where they got dropped, but maybe if I uh, start in the shallower water and make my way out. It's not super clear over here. So I'm like just now getting visual of the bottom at like eight or nine, maybe 10 feet here. So sorry, Matt, I don't think that I'm gonna be able to find your stuff with what I got. I may go over on the other side of where all these uh, boats are docked. There's a sandbar, so it's all mellow. I'll try over there. Not the right weather for this. Everything's just getting wavier, it's getting windier. Might try my luck with some fishing instead because you just can't, there's no visibility with this amount of uh, choppy, wavy action going on. Can't see a thing under there. head over towards that island there or around the bend where I can just sit and hang out without the wind taking me downstream so I don't have my anchor with me. I'm gonna go to the other bank actually. The wind has changed directions a bit so this side's out of the water out of the wind now. Looks like if I went forward 20 feet I'd be back in the rapids. Empty-handed, 
the least, I got to hang out here for a couple extra hours. Something over there swimming. That looks like it could be a baby duck. I think it is. Is it a baby duck? Oh my gosh, it totally is. What are you doing by yourself, dude? Okay. He's not by himself. Or she. Look at your mama. Oh. Okay. I'm not gonna do anything, man. You gotta flap at me. <laughs> oh, we're gonna have a wild duck attack over here. I guess they eat the blueberries before we do. Oh, there's a squirrel there too. What the heck? It's a party on the beach. Just the little duckies swim along. Water looks very clear over here. It almost looks blue with the sand at the bottom. It's so tiny. It's Jen's favorite bird in the background. To me, they sound like they are um, making a bird call through one of those wild bendy straws. <laughs> I don't know if anybody's gonna understand what I mean by that, but someday I'll get a wacky straw just to show you. <laughs> Head back up to my meadow with DEET on my legs. Lots of DEET. scratches on my feet are really stinging now that I sprayed DEET in them. <laughs> I think Matt saved the day because snorkeling was not a success and uh, fishing was not a success. Um, but paddling and having someone to paddle with, that was a lot of fun. <laughs> 